this video I am going to show you how to install Ubuntu 19.10 that's a version and in virtual box that I am going to show you how to install let's check the virtual box about the version is there which I am using this one here is there and uh, for downloading the virtual box and the Ubuntu um, and you know to open the browser there you can download the virtual box and the also Ubuntu 19.04 so just type in your browser 19.010 download so you can see so you need to just click on this one the first link release.ubuntu and remove that one type virtual box and there you can see the download option okay so i'll make a full screen here you can see the select image desktop or server image for that one you can download directly the iOS image and for the server you can download here for more you need information about the torrent throw you can download here the size is 2.3 gb for the desktop and for the server it's a um it's a server like here it will be live server showing only okay so it will be you can download from here only okay the server image which will not more than 2 uh, 1 gb okay it will be less for the downloading here you, you can see this uh, manifesto so on okay according to your condition you can download so this is a virtual box version is the latest one there you can download and previously we have shown you how to install the virtual box in ubuntu and in my channel also you can find how to install virtual box in windows 10 also okay this was the latest version is there and if you get any error also it i have shown you in that video virtual box so minimize that one in the links downloads you can find the below to my video description box okay so click on new which is you need to type here ubuntu and there you need to select a uh, ubuntu the version you need to type 19.04 or 10 sorry so remember please that you need to be have your uh, 64 bit uh, that means os and apart from that motherboard virtualization so you need to enable you know, that means you need to go to the bios there you need to enable virtualizations virtual box okay virtualization is there enable so that is about the one to 64 bits and this is a location which is going to store in my and click on next this is a ram which i am giving here not more than 8 gb or less okay for that one so here i am giving this one only 7 gb so before assigning the rams you need to be checked in the green mark only and this is a ubuntu location for the i am giving this one is 100 gb according to 2 tb you can give the size of that one any size you can give and this is a location which is going to store you can change the arrow which you can see going on to the settings here we need to set some few options here so click on systems and check floppy check processor so you can enable this one or not so this is by default it's not uh, enable okay and there you need to click storage click on empty id there you need to assign the iso image so click on virtual disk sorry not this one just click on choose a disk file here on my screen i'm giving this one is my desktop so click on open it so once that we need to go to the network select bridge adapter audio search been already been set click ok then we need to click on start now so it may take some time to start now so like this is start now okay and close this option all those things minimize this one and it started the installation so okay so we need to set the language here everything one by one here okay so just allow the keyboard mouse to access your machine okay so in this way like this I'm going to have the look for this may take in some time to load. So before installation you can try Ubuntu without the installation how it's looking the feature you can access select the language click on install Ubuntu now. So that's keyboard layout select according to a language purpose click on continue the normal installations or the manual installation that means comes with the browser basic utility all those things is coming 
downloads update of this page saved after the installation that means allow this one so i'm skipping that one click on the while installing it will be download also com completed that means simultaneously so you can check that one so like so now this is the important part of the installation see this is the first option is erase the disk install ubuntu means it will be delete everything in your uh, hard disk okay whatever the data you have it will be deleted to avoid that one you need to first take a backup of your data then you need to format it okay uh, something else means you can create multiple partitions for this installation separate partition you want to give for the installation like for home road slash for that you can give okay so click on install now so just continue here if you want to go back you can go back automatic creating the partition is what was shown so after the few minutes we'll come up to the part of giving the user account the password like that so selecting the time zone which you can default selected you can drag and drop that one also you can do so i'm giving the name of my os okay you can give any name the pickup name the same one password you need to give a strong one please remember um, with multiple character automatically like you know checking that one click on continue so here we are going to have started the copying the files here so once i click here uh, as you can see that one will be showing up that one so it may take a little bit time here so okay till then we'll wait after this complete we will we'll show you about that so as you can see the installation is completed it's almost take 25 minutes or more than time depend upon your internet and hardware configuration so just we need to restart after the restarts that will come up with the login page so just we need to wait few minutes so as you can see this we need to press the uh, that means we need to remove the cd installation media so for that one just you can click right click on here on the disk and there you can select this uh, remove so it's not uh, coming up so we can just press and enter directly also no need about that one so as you can see the installation has been completed as so let's keep that one so just go ahead now that's done already have been installed all the sys software is coming with that one so here you can see this is if i click on uh, this is my virtual actually so if i scroll up you can see this one application also we go to the settings here uh, there the changes icon and the trash the image little bit changes so here we can also make a full screen resolution that i will also show you once i show you the resolution so going into the settings click on details so let me show you this is about the ram which i have given 7 gb and it's not 19.10 version is the size is there so this is about that one so minimizing so let's check the full screen resolution going on to that device of virtual box there you need to click on install guest editions so once we click on there when you install the guest we take some time yes click on run so with this one we can extend the touch the password screen resolution we can extend it so it's verifying until we turn to it So just press and enter here yeah. and then we need to just drag and drop that means we need to close the virtual box over of there to that restarting then we can go ahead with that just typing here the virtual box just start it here so here is the easy method for increasing the, the screen resolution going into the view 
So here is the size is there where you can adjust it. 